just start this thing up right now because I know you guys been <laughs> for a long time. Congratulations on the new album. It's great to see you guys here in Toronto. How does it feel getting new music out, man, after all these years? I mean, you guys are considered an institution now, man, when it comes to country music. Well, I think we should be in an we institution. In for sure. <laughs> it's great. You know, we, uh, we take our time making records and recording, but it's because, you know, we love the music. We love the fans. We don't want to give them anything but the best. Yeah, and you guys definitely give out the best, man. When you think about the legacy of this band uh, after all these years, and now you got so many great country artists coming out of Canada, and these guys look up to you guys. They listen to your music. They're just like, yeah, you guys have influenced us. How does that feel? That's really a weird feeling to, to have other artists say that, that we influence them. And it's, I mean, I guess it's a point of pride, and it inspires us to want to do better and make, make better music. Well, you guys definitely make great music. Tell me some of what it was like from when you guys first got together and say the evolution of what the band has become today. Oh, uh, well, for starters, the three of us are still together, which is, you know, in a miracle in itself because, <laughs> you know, a lot of bands don't make it that far. And uh, I don't know, just between the three of us, I think our musical uh, likes and dislikes have kind of changed. But uh, we were just saying earlier that no matter what we try to record, it always comes out sounding like us. So to me, the, this latest record has a lot, a lot of the similar sounds as the first record, second, third. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah it just uh, it evolves, but it stays within what we do. The uh, subject matter's broadened out a little bit on this record here. Uh, you know, first single, you know, crazy about you. It's it's a love song. It's what every guy wants to say, what every girl wants to and needs to hear. And uh, you know, it, it's got a, a lot of us in it. I want to get into that, and I want to get more into the album, too, but, uh, you know, the lead single, Crazy About You, that is something, that is old school, because not a lot of songs these days gives that guy a chance to say something to the woman these days. You know, that was Jason's idea when he came with the song, when the start of the song, and uh, he wanted to kind of reflect on, on his relationship with his wife, um, uh, being together for 20... Well, 19, 19 years 19 married, years. been together for 25, so yeah, it's been great. Still crazy about her, and, and for some reason she doesn't age, I do, and she still sticks around, I don't know why. <laughs> but with the album The Squeeze, man, we were talking about this before, it's got a bit of that 80s kind of feel to it. Um, talk a little bit about the evolution of the album. Well, uh, I think we all started writing. We have been putting this record together over... Since like, the 80s. So that's why. <laughs> For about three years, you'd say. You know, yeah. we've been kind of coming together and throwing ideas into the pot. And, uh, I mean, it, it, it still, it happens organically, even in, you know, the world of technology and how records are made these days. It's still a pretty organic process, at least with this bunch, anyway. And I know you and I, Jason, were talking before about, um, you know, producers and stuff like that to give this album this kind of a feel to it. Yeah, you know, we still, like the, the guys have said, you know, we still sound like us no matter what we record. Uh, you have a producer who just brings in some different elements and maybe some things challenges you in a way that uh, you haven't been before, pushes you a little higher. And that's, that's uh, important. Our, our producer, Scott Baggett, from the beginning, uh, we've worked on a couple of tracks with Gavin Brown, Dave Kalmuski. So it's been, uh, it's been a good, good experience stretching a little bit. What about the other tracks? Uh, what can fans expect from this new album? I think a lot of what they've heard in the past, you know, songs like The Squeeze and, um, and Haul and Ass are a lot of hammer fun. I mean, and that's yeah. what this band's all about and, and has been from the beginning. And, and that's what, something that I'm very proud of is that we're all still friends after all of these years and we all still set out to, to just make fun, exciting records. What does the squeeze mean exactly? What is that? Oh, well, that, that, was, uh, that comes via Mr. Clayton Bellamy here. It was a great title through a uh, family member, right? That's right. Uh, my cousin and I were, were talking about uh, ladies and relationships and fellas. If you're with a girl, the juice has got to be worth the squeeze. Oh. Oh, love that. No, I love that. No, you know why? Because like I said, man, I'm old school, okay? And I just feel like the kids today, they always have to go through Facebook and Twitter and all this stuff to meet ladies. I remember going back in the day, man, when you actually had to walk up to a woman and say something to them. And if you couldn't figure out anything, you used a music lyric to make it work. You know, I was a coward. I just, I just hid behind a guitar and I got to meet my wife that way. Her, her aunt was a fan of the band, and she introduced us. She said, oh, you got to meet my niece, and so I did, and I was lucky. Uh, and uh, so that's how I did it. I think we all used our music as, as much as we could, right? I'm, 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 I'm crying. crying. I, I walk up to the girls, my name is Clayton. I play in a band. It's, a, it's, it's more impressive, like, when he's in the moment. But it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you get the idea. Yeah, I get the idea, but i got to get one more idea behind this. Oh, I had to trick my wife into marrying me. She didn't know. 
Yeah, she still doesn't. Actually, now she knows. Are you serious? <laughs> She'll know. <laughs> well, what's going to be happening with the band now, too? I mean, we've got this, uh, you know, we got the album out. What's going on with tours and festivals and stuff like that? We've got a busy summer. I mean, it uh, started off busy, and it's just been getting crazy. Uh, it's a wonderful thing, though. The folks at radio and the fans have been getting behind the single. It's just getting ready to go top ten. So uh, it's we're hitting a fever pitch here, and, and now we find ourselves uh, booked right up for the summer now into the fall. So, um, Hammer fans, thank you. You're the best. Yeah, well, you guys are the best, too. And you've got some hosting duties coming up. Yeah, hosting the uh, CMAO is going to be my third year, and I'm just I'm honored to be there. Uh, June 11 happening in London, Ontario, at Cent Centennial Hall. Uh, the best of the best are there. Canadian country music has never been stronger and powered in large part by the artists we have here in Ontario. So it's great to celebrate that. And it's great to celebrate you guys too. I gotta say thank you so much over the years and being able to interview you guys. But more importantly, man, thank you so much for what you guys have done for country music. Congratulations. Thanks for what you do. Thanks to Rudy for all your support of all Canadian country music. You're awesome. Thank you, my friend. You guys enjoy the summer and have fun. Thank you. Take care.